I'm Gary Schwartz, um, and I also am delighted to be here this morning and to thank Mark and all the Foundation supporters for putting this wonderful symposium together today. I think Michael made all the introductions. I'm, I'm just going to give a little bit of a background um, on rare cancers. So, you know, wh why are we here? So, rare cancers, um, how do you define rare cancers? And that's always a problem. So, rare cancers, most people think of one out of eight, two out of eight, 20, 25%, as I said on the, on the prior slide. But the problem is we, we don't even have a definition of rare cancer. Uh, and that's actually a problem in itself. So how do you define a rare cancer? The NCI has one definition. based uh, the, the FDA has a second definition. And the European group has a third definition. So when we put in grants, what even what? How do we define the name rare cancers to define the population we're even going to study. And that's in itself a challenge. I think one thing we need to do is sort of unify the field to define rare cancers. But what makes rare cancers a challenge is that, first, they're rare. Second, they affect not just adults. They affect children and adolescents. I mentioned some of this last night at the, at the dinner. So when you talk about rare cancer, you're talking about a disease that that's really impacts all sorts of age groups. There's exceptional heterogeneity to the disease. Um, one cancer may have 60 different subtypes. I'm going to talk a little bit later about sarcoma. And that's a disease of 70 different tumors. To be a sarcoma doctor, you're not just a doctor for one tumor. You're a doctor for 70 different cancers. That requires a level of expertise that not many people have. And to understand the biology behind that is extremely complex. And that's also part of the problem. There's an extraordinary heterogeneity of every disease where one disease represents many different types, all driven by different molecular drivers. And I think this idea of precision medicine, which will come up again and again throughout all the, uh, all the symposium, is a critical factor which I think will ultimately help us devise new therapeutic approaches. The plus better understanding of the tumor microenvironment, which is the, we talked about that last night, the, the cells around the tumor that drive the cancer. So I think going forward, we need to better understand the biology of the disease. And, and the other part of the, this rare cancer problem is that patients with rare cancer just don't do well. They, they, if you look at survival between rare cancers and more common cancers, survival is worse. And part of that is the lack of therapeutic options for people with these rare diseases and how to best approach them. So I think the mission, our mission as a group, and one of the reasons I'm hoping, one of the reasons I think we came together is why I'm here, is to better understand how to approach this problem and offer patients, which ultimately is what it's all about, right? There's great science, we can come up with great science, but the ultimate goal of the field is to deliver the best care possible for patients with these rare diseases. So we can change the field, we can change the survival curves, and we can make a huge impact. And if we can come together in a way like that today and make this a sustaining program and make investments I think we can change the field of cancer medicine. We can do something that no one else has ever done as a group. And that's a very powerful thought. So we end of the day saying we can come up with a couple initiatives to change the field of medicine together. Wouldn't that be a wonderful thing to say we've succeeded on? And I've done something that I've always visioned to do, and we do it together as a group. So this is the questions. That I'm, I just want to spend a minute on this slide. So I want to just, now they've talked around the slides, I guess you can present the bullets. See, Overriding questions of the symposium, I think these are the things that I thought about is, and as we go through the talks, it better understand rare cancers and what makes them rare. How do we increase awareness of rare cancers that collectively, in fact, are not rare at all? When you look at them all, they're actually pretty common. What is the best way to approach them in terms of identification and treatment? How do we know and how can we use basic science to advance our understanding of these diseases? Are there opportunities for new drug development? Is it possible to build new paradigms that allow us to better, better treat and cure this constellation pearl interested diseases. Can we use the symposium as a, as a springboard to bring attention to these rare diseases and offer opportunities for new advances in cancer medicine? And finally, what investments must be made to advance the field and how can we engage the pharma and the investment community more effectively as a means to promote innovation for drug, new drug discovery? And every one of these is a question. So. I just wanted to put it out there. I just wanted to have a kind of a springboard to go forward. And we're going to do this together. And I think we can win. We have to win. We can't, there's something we can't lose on.